Hey everyone, welcome back to another series on Ionic Figma. And here we're going to be talking about this popover component that I recently completed. Um, this has been one of the last few components that hadn't been um, fully optimized for Ionic yet. So I just finished this, so I'm going to be sharing a tutorial on how to use it real quick. So let's go over into our demo application and let's start. Um, so let's say on our product page, we let our customer um, save this to a wish list, basically. Well, there's favorites, but also let's say they have like shopping lists, basically, that they want to manage. So the way this would work is that they would have the option. So let's say, actually, first let's get a button in here. Perfect. So actually, you know what? We're going to want a select item. No, where's my select? There we go. So here is our select item, and it's going to be add to list. And this is going to be maybe like our, or I guess let's just say choose list. Uh, wait, I'm trying to think how this would actually functionally happen. So this doesn't actually make a whole lot of sense, but let's just say for example that if they want to add to a list, they come over here and they choose a list. So let's make this, since it's the placeholder, um, kind of like a text, like a muted color. There we go. So there's that, and then clicking on that would open a popover right here that would have a list of all of the lists that they could possibly add it to. So let's use our popover component. There we go. So let's line it up right there and let's title it lists. So you'll see that this component inside of the popover is actually just an ion list component. So you can customize it the same way that you would customize a list. You have a variety of list items, ion items, and also you can add or show and hide more items as you need. Um, what I did was I made the last item close so that you always have, because the last item you ideally wouldn't want um, a border on it, so I just removed the border on the last item and called it close. So let's say um, for our list, we're gonna, let's, we have to name our list now. So how many different lists do we have? So before that, I know I'm gonna want to have icons to also go along with the type of list on the left right here. So I'm gonna select that we want an icon list type so like the item we want it to be an icon type and also for the note we can show the count of how many items are in that list so let's say we have and let's call this our there we go and so for these we want a close icon so let's just say so there we go now we have a fully customized ion popover and you can customize it just like you would customize any other ion item, basically. And obviously, if you just want to like go crazy and have something else in your popover completely, you can just use any other surface and use that, yeah. You don't have to, I guess, use this. Who knows? But yeah, that's how to customize the ion popover component out of the box to kind of be whatever you need it to be. Uh, thanks for watching. Bye.